Welcome to Capital Connection. I'm Mark Maxwell. A divide is growing between Democrats in Springfield. Some want to legalize recreational marijuana for adult use. Others are pushing to slow that effort down. Joining us now to talk about this, Representative Bob Morgan, the former Pat, uh, pot czar under Pat Quinn, uh, governor back then, now a state representative, and Representative Marty Moylan. Uh, you're supporting this effort. And Marty, you're pushing the effort to slow it down. You've now got 59, almost the 60 votes you need to pass this resolution. Are you throwing up a yellow light or a red light? Do you want to kill this bill, or, or what's your goal well, here? First of all, I want to slow this process down because more has to be known, and, and, and residents of the state of Illinois have to be uh, informed about all the latest uh, information coming out of Colorado and Washington. Uh, right now, uh, with my 59 uh, co-sponsors of my bill, soon to be 60, uh, the members are happy that finally somebody's speaking up for the opposition to this bill. Uh, am I going to push for it to, to, uh, to stop the bill? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm pushing to slow this bill down, get all the information, the latest information, from Colorado, from Washington. You know, proponents will say they've been working on this for years. Well, the information from Colorado and Washington is just coming out about the effects of recreational marijuana. That's what we want out. And some people supporting your effort have sh showed to distracted driving studies. Uh, supporters of legalizing recreational marijuana say that they're comparing these numbers to nothing because th there was no data being gathered on distracted driving before it became legal. So it's, it's all kind of muddy. It seems like for every study that shows it's bad, there's a study that shows it's good. Bob, where public support seems clear that a majority of Republicans and a super majority of Democrats want legal recreational marijuana now. That's correct. And I, I also, I'm not sure I would agree with the assessment that we're Democrats divided. In fact, I think there's already bipartisan support for adult use of, of recreational marijuana in Illinois. So while I, I greatly respect my colleague here, I, I don't think this is really a reflection of where the caucus or the House of Representatives is. But well, Governor Pritzker campaigned that a promise to legalize recreational marijuana. You, you, right now, you're standing in the way of that, it would seem. No, I'm not, because I disagree with Mr. Uh, Mr. Morgan, uh, when you inform the residents about the effects of recreational marijuana, they're uh, adamantly opposed to recreational well, marijuana. Let's get into some of those. What are the effects? What, what are you driving at? Well, look at impaired driving, uh, 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 kids, FT rates in schools in Colorado, the closing of hospitals, the effects on psychosis of recreational marijuana. See, I have scientific proof of what's happening in the states that already uh, have approved recreational marijuana. Uh, marijuana. The but psychosis the, study that just recently came out yes. said that people that use heavy use, which is every single day, and they use the strongest amounts of right. THC, which in Illinois right. is a small fraction of what it is in right. Oregon or in California. But this is not your grandfather's marijuana. This stuff is up to 25 percent potency. Uh, Representative Morgan, you have extensive background in a lot of these issues rolling out the medical marijuana program here. Uh, wh what's your take on this whole issue and whether or not we can add uh, the regulations, the labeling, the, the more information around uh, what consumers would be buying when they go to buy a recreational uh, product. I think we have to start from the perspective that people are using cannabis today throughout the state of Illinois. Hundreds of thousands of people are using this in the illicit market. They're not purchasing it through regulated dispensaries and cultivators. It's not being tested. It's not labeled. And they're using it every day, both children and adults. So this is a real question of whether or not we want to regulate this product and whether or not we want to make it safer for Illinois as children? we've done with medical. Well, children, as school children, are absolutely using cannabis today. They're just not doing it legally. And this is definitely not going to allow children access to recreational cannabis. What is does is it protects the, the infrastructure from a regulated market so we are entering cannabis into the into the economy that it's safe it's tested we're tracking it we know where it's coming from where it's going and then we're gonna have continue to have heavy regulation to make sure there's no access to children uh, he previously mentioned that this is a criminal justice issue and that for too long people have been locked up uh, disproportionately people of color and people that are in poverty uh, for small possession of marijuana um, you, well, do, you do have a lot of support from the police community is that correct correct it, how much of your opposition here stems from that backing of yours, that part of your coalition? No, uh, um, uh, police departments are opposed because of the uh, driving requirements of driving impaired. I have no problem with small uh, uh, giving tickets to minor uh, violations. But let's not, let, you know, let's talk about what uh, uh, Representative is saying. He's saying that children aren't going to be impaired. In Colorado, it has been proven, uh, studies show, that children are getting access to uh, recreational marijuana, and there's more visits to hospitals because of that, more visits to emergency rooms. So uh, he says that um, uh, that uh, 
So we're going to say that more people are speeding, so we should just change the laws because of uh, people want to speed. So he's saying because more people want to use recreational marijuana, we should, we should change it. And I, can I don't see you want to jump that. in here. Well, and, I mean, today it's, it's illegal to drive impaired, and this will continue to be illegal to right. drive impaired under a recreational right. cannabis bill in Illinois, as it is in every state. And in fact, what we've seen in places like Colorado is there's a reduction in use by youth. There's a reduction in child youth. Uh, using cannabis. So you're saying that before it was legal, there was a certain amount of youth using. After it became legal, that number declined? Correct. And, and as, as the representative noted, it's a little early to really talk about long-term studies of what's really happening. But we have seen evidence of some states that are having reductions in youth use of recreational cannabis. You say slow it down. Are you saying let's kill it? Well, I'm saying that let's get the information out because it's only been five years since Colorado. Every day, more and more research has been is being yeah. conducted and being released, which shows the detrimental effect of recreational marijuana on society. So I'm gonna slow it down, get all the facts out before making a final decision, and I am morally against it. But I want the members to decide, and members are happy that I brought this resolution uh, to the forefront uh, because now they have a voice. There is a lot of members that are against this, but didn't feel that they had a voice, that thought it was gonna roll through, and I'm telling the governor, slow this down, not all the members in our caucus are for it and listen to so us. It sounds like he's saying there is a divide. Well, I think the there, there are clearly people in the House of Representatives who will not support recreational marijuana. That's different from saying there's not a majority of support in the House with both parties. You don't need 71 votes. You just need no, the 60. Correct. You only need 60. And more importantly, this has been something I just joined the legislature in January. The representative was here last year when there were subject matter hearings in Springfield, Chicago, throughout the state talking about this issue, talking about how it would be best appropriate to, to legalize cannabis throughout the state based on the best practices of other states. And again, I go back to the question, we could talk about the harms of cannabis of which there are, particularly in use by children. But the reality is people are using it today, and they're using it throughout the state in our schools, and our children are having access to it in the illicit market. And when you provide access to a regulated cannabis market, you reduce that. On top of it, you reduce dr drug driving because you educate law enforcement, you educate the community. But right now, people are driving drugs. They're driving under, uh, impaired under the use of cannabis. Part of this is a scientific that. problem, too. It's really hard to know when someone has been impaired with cannabis compared to a DUI when you could take a breathalyzer. That science for marijuana is a little bit murkier. And again, while I think both of us rep uh, agree that and I think the, the majority of the legislature and, and the governor agrees we have to reduce impaired driving, we also have to look at, again, criminal justice reform and also states that have legalized cannabis have seen a reduction in opioid use. It is helping people it's saving lives because when they get addicted to opioids, there's a huge mortality element there. And it doesn't happen, and it happens less in states that have legalized cannabis. And quickly, you advanced the measure just this week to take the pilot program of medical marijuana in Illinois and make that permanent. Uh, why is that important? And what role does this medical marijuana, the dispensaries that are open now, what role will they have in this potential legal recreational shop as well? Are, are they going to be a part of that? Uh, so we, we've learned a lot in the last five years under a, a medical cannabis program in Illinois. So we're taking some of the lessons we've learned. We're adapting the program. Right now it sunsets at the end of next summer, Gen, uh, June 2020. The program will just go away for the tens of thousands of people today using medical cannabis for their debilitating medical conditions. So this makes per the program permanent. It also expands the medical conditions that were recommended by a medical board in the last couple years that were rejected by the previous administration. And, and so you clearly want to see to the table. You want to be a part of the discussion. Right. You want to inform the public. I understand all of that. Right. What does it take when Representative Kelly Cassidy and Governor Pritzker sit you down at a table in the governor's mansion? What does it take for them to get you to yes on this measure? I'm not going to be yes. Ever? No. There you have it. Gentlemen, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. We're back in a moment with Representative Michael Zaleski, who is introducing a different controversial topic, if you will, that of legalizing sports gambling. As you can tell, it's March Madness of our own kind here in Springfield. We're back in a moment.